Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here again. Looks like uh, January is in full effect here on Vancouver Island. Haven't seen the sun for a few days now. Anyway, I'm busy myself doing some uh, repairs to the rig. And today I'm going to try to fix the black tank flush. Our Cougar has a uh, built-in tank flusher for the black tank. So, you know, there's a fresh water input underneath there. We've got a sewer flusher, so we just hook up a hose to that, turn on the, the pressure, and it flushes the tank out. Unfortunately, at, after the last trip down south, I noticed my tank flusher is no longer working. I turn on the pressure and nothing happens, so somewhere along in there the line is plugged, so that's today's task, figure out where it's plugged and rectify the situation. So let me go inside and show you the, where the check valve is for the line. This is called, a, I believe, the No Fuss Flush System. Looking up online, there's a diagram. Maybe I'll throw it up in the video so you can get an idea of what I'm looking at. My uh, check valve for the flush system is located under my bathroom cabinet. You can see it up in this corner here, right there. What that's designed to do is the water can only flow one way, so the, the flush water can come in through there, out, and then drop back down and into the tank sprayer, but it can't go the other way. So you can see there's sort of a plunger up there I'm going to go turn on the water and see if we get water up into that uh, valve or not. Okay, we definitely have water up into that thing. So that means the path is clear up to the check valve. I'm just going to drain the water and pull that check valve so I can see if it's faulty or not. It only... it. Uh, untightens, just hand tightens on that PEX tubing, so it's pretty easy to get apart. Okay, so on top it says Lakeview RV Supply Inc. 110 Fahrenheit, 125 PSI, model 1000 half inch. So it looks like it's got a little arrow this way, so that's the way the water flows. Water pulls into there, pushes that plunger up, and I guess then it compresses this plunger to spring in there, if you can see that. And then it flows as soon as the pressure is off, those two things seal up again. So, I'm not sure why they, they want a check valve. I guess it's so the black tank stuff doesn't get sucked back out through the tube, which would be kind of nasty when you undo the hose, get a bunch of gunk on you. Or also when it's uh, when it's freezing, at least when when you pull the the pressure off, it this side drains back into the tank and this side drains out the hose. I have heard of water getting trapped in here before, just enough water that this thing cracks. So then the next year people go to flush their tank, and they go inside and get a nasty surprise when the bathroom is flooding. Anyway, it looks to be okay. Definitely this part's working. Let's see if I can put some water pressure on that, see if it shoots out the other side. Well, that seems to work. The old uh, spring depresses and it shoots water out, so looks like I got a problem between this and the black tank nozzle. I've located where it uh, goes down into the tank, drops through my uh, basement storage and below. Let's go underneath here. I had to cut a little access hole in my underbelly, and there we are. You can see where it comes down over there, 
and there is where the nozzle enters the black tank. Let me get a mirror, I'll show you. There we are. So it looks like there's just uh, three screws in there. They put a big wonkin' blob of silicone around it. So I should be able to pull that out and uh, give it a good clean. Not the nicest job. I'm sure when I pull that out, it's going to be a mess. Okay, got her out. Looks like it's quite plugged inside there. Yeah, well, we'll clean it up, see if we can get her working again. Okay, got it pretty cleaned up. You can see there's some holes at the end there, and then a couple of holes on each side. Nothing on the top. So I think what I'm going to do is take a really tiny drill bit and maybe uh, ream those holes out a bit just so they're all totally clear. Okay, so next I'm going to reinstall that nozzle. I got some uh, Teflon tape to wrap around the threads. Um, picked up some 3M marine grade silicone, clear silicone, to remount it. Cleaned up the screws on all the old silicone off the, the tank. So we'll just put all that back together and we should be able to test it out. Okay, all siliconed in place, tightened up, ready to go. Let's give her a test. Go. Okay, looks like we got water coming in. Sounds like it. Yeah, you can hear it flushing down there. There we go. Another repair in the books. Slowly getting this rig all back in shape. So stay tuned. You never know what the next repair is going to be, but there's a few more coming. Um, there you go, Angie. Thanks a lot for helping. She gets a little treat, pig's ear. I get my treat, nice Molson Canadian. Sun's back out. Woohoo! Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.